in a uh, triangle, in pedance, I'm sorry here, um, in an RL circuit, you know, we're given a value for R, 2.7 K ohms. L is 200 millihenries, and F is 3 kilohertz. And we're asked to find X sub L, theta, and Z, okay? Um, what I know is, I know X sub L is 2 pi F L. So, I am going to just enter this into my calculator, keeping in mind we have prefixes here. You know, 3K is 3 times 10 to the third, or you can just make it 3,000. Okay, this, this formula is a little bit better than the X sub C formula, because normally our prefixes aren't so large or so small that we have so many decimal points. Uh, milli is three to the left, kilo is three to the right. Uh, kilo means a thousand. So kilo should be a little easier to handle, um, you know, than some others. And then milli, 200 milli Henry, well, I can just make that 0 0.2. Okay. Um, so, you know, you have the option. You can do three times 10 to the third, or and you can do two times 10 to the negative third, or you can just, since we're milli, you can move the decimal three places left. And since you're kilo, you can move the decimal three places to the right. So I just find that that's just a little more user friendly uh, than some of the other uh, prefixes, especially X sub C. So if I multiply this out on my calculator, what I end up getting is 3,770. And the reason why... I am rounding to a whole number is because I have to convert it to kilo ohms. I want to keep everything consistent here. So once I move the decimal three to the left, okay, to convert that, you know, that's 3.77 times 10 to the third ohms. I'm going to round to the tenths place and make that 3.8. 10 to the third means K, and I got 3.8 kilo ohms. Okay. And, you know, on your test, on, uh, you know, I account for rounding, not errors, but, but rounding issues. Uh, just how you do stuff on your calculator can make you off just a little bit. On homework, you know, you need to try to catch that yourself as much as possible. So that's X sub L. So that brings me to then, okay. Well, I need to create my RL circuit triangle. And that is a right triangle, sorry. And R is down here, X sub L is up here, Z is the hypotenuse, and theta is my angle. So if you recall from, you know, uh, other uh, videos possibly, we're in the first quadrant. So everything's positive here. With RC circuits, we're in the fourth quadrant. So we don't have to worry about negative signs for this. So I found X sub L. I know R is 2.7 K ohms. X sub L is 3.8 K ohms. So I'm going to find it's theta. And it's set up right now uh, to do tangent, opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta is my opposite side over my adjacent side. And since we are both measured in K ohms, we don't need to worry about using that prefix because, you know, it's going to be the same number regardless because this is 3,800 over 2,700. It doesn't really matter if we include the prefixes. So then I divide that. So I get 3.8 divided by 2.7 and I get 1.407. So tangent theta is 1.4, whoops, can't talk and write at the same time, 1.4074. And just because I know how the uh, computer grades things, not like I've talked to the computer or anything, um, but I do know that I'm going to take it out an extra decimal place just to be safe. So then my angle, anytime you're finding the angle, you always do the inverse 
trig function. So I'm going to do tan inverse of that. And I get 54.6 degrees. So there's my angle. So I've filled in my two sides and my angle. So the last thing I need to find is Z. And as always, if you can do Pythagorean theorem, I just think it's much more user friendly. So Z is the square root of R squared plus X sub L squared, which is the square root of 2.7 squared plus 3.8 squared. And once again, since R and X sub L are already measured in kilo ohms, I can square these without worrying about the prefix, knowing that my final answer is also in kilo ohms. So 2.7 squared plus 3.8 squared equals 21.73. Oh, you just have issues. So I'm going to take the square root of that, round to the tens place, so what I got was 4.662, and again, that's K ohms, but I'm going to make it 4.7 K ohms. So I've solved everything I need to solve. Um, you know, the prefixes can be intimidating. Just do what I do. You know, if you're stuck, rewatch this video. I try to keep them short and sweet. Um, sometimes they just take a while.